Well, hello, you wonderful humans, and welcome to Diplomacy is Not an Option, a game where we have to try and fend off hordes of enemies while trying to build up the greatest civilization ever known to man. It's going to be quite a crazy experience, and we're actually playing on a game mode called uh, The Labyrinth of Pain, which is going to prove to be probably incredibly difficult, and the goal of this is to really just build up as much of a population as we can to be able to build our army up to be able to defend ourselves from these incoming hordes. So that's what we're going to try and do here. We have different types of production. If you're familiar with games like Age of Empires or anything like that, uh, this is kind of similar to that, except incredibly more oppressive. And we can only build up our army uh, with the amount of workers that we get. Now, right now, we have a population growth of 7 per day, with food consumption at 19 per day. So we have to balance our food consumption, our population size, and our population growth, while having to fend off hundreds, if not thousands, of attackers. So it's going to prove to be pretty insane, and I have no idea how far we'll make it, but we're playing on a game mode that's called Endless, which means we literally just try and grow and survive as long as humanly possible. Now we have wave one will come on day four. So we got three more days to try and prepare ourselves for fending off the horde of attackers. So it's going to be pretty interesting. We've got different ways to get food. So Barry Picker's house, uh, we have one worker and it takes four seconds to gather one food. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to start off by placing these berry huts around and see if we can get a decent amount of food gathering done here at a relatively early stage. I think we have something that's called like a granary as well. Whoops. But if we take our crew here and start exploring, I believe there's resources that we can find throughout the map as well. Like we just picked up like some wood. So I'm thinking maybe we go out and see if we can raid some... Ooh, there's a little encampment here. And there's a couple of... There's like two dudes. This guy... Dude, look at that hair. Bro is ready to go. Oh, here's our first night. Hopefully we get some resources from that. But there's a lot of different things that we need to manage. Like we have magic. We have summons. So we can summon five dark knights for 120 seconds to fight on our side. And that's from using these soul crystals. Then we have gold, which I'm assuming is our currency. And it looks like we get soul crystals from raiding these encampments. So that's something we'll have to keep in mind as well. Looks like we got a lot of wood out here. So I think we're going to expand our city out this way and see if we can block in like the surroundings with walls and stuff like that. And hopefully get prepared for the day four oppression that is the wave one. I found my first larger encampment. I was going through this little tunnel and there's just a whole bunch of dudes out here. I'm going to try and lure like a little pack of them out. Hopefully we don't die. I think that's kind of like the key. Is like luring these around so your archers can take them out. And maybe kiting them? I don't know if we can kite. Oh my god, we're about to die. We lost a couple guys. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, we don't want to lose anybody. It's only day one. All right, we do have, we're making 11 population per day. Let's see if we can build up a barracks. There we go. We'll put our first barracks right there and start building up our army. I'm hoping that they'll start recovering their HP automatically. It looks like it's going up. So that's definitely something we need to keep in mind, trying to keep our army alive. Oh boy, we've got a minute and 54 seconds until our first wave of enemies. So I'm thinking what we do, I'm going to try and see if I can make some more archers. We need to be careful though as well, because we need to balance our food consumption with the size of our military. We also need to make sure to build up more housing, because we're almost full on that. Get that there. And we're going to run out of room in this little spot here because I want to make sure we can build walls all through there. Maybe we'll start building some more houses up there. God, I have no idea how big this this army that's going to be coming from the southwest here. We have only have one catapult. 
I'm hoping, I wonder if we can build like a tower and put the catapult in a tower. How cool would that be? We don't have 28 wood. Our first wave is, is coming in hot. I'm trying to build up one of these towers here. If we can't put the catapult on the tower, then I'm going to put all of our archers up in the tower and hopefully that'll be enough. <gasps> I think the catapult can. That'll be so cool because the catapult, I think, is like one of our most valuable objects. <gasps> yes. So these will be our distraction. Then we'll have the archers out here. And I think we might be okay depending on how many things come through the darkness. I hate that we can't see the numbers. It's just an unknown number of destruction just coming through the woods. God, I really hate that I have no idea what the size of this army is coming for us. It could be like one, it could be two, or it could be a thousand, and we just don't know, but they should be coming through the woods. Okay, here we go, here we go. So if we start catapulting, yeah! <laughs> Look at him explode! Oh, that's phenomenal! All right, so they're coming for our flank. Let's try and see if we can keep them kited. Oh, 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 God, why are the archers just going ham? Just shoot! Okay, this is this is a reasonable amount of enemies. Our archers seem to be doing okay. Our swordsmen not doing so hot. <laughs> I love seeing them get hit by the rocks, though. It's amazing. We survived wave one. Wave two comes in another seven days, but we did lose three dude bros and whatever that is and I think we yeah we need a grave diggers house because we actually have to take care of the dead in this game so we'll have to do that and we need a cemetery too so we'll put the the cemetery right next to the grave diggers house I have no idea how many cemeteries we're going to need but knowing me it's probably going to be a decent number of them our gravedigger is hard at work. Picked up our three fallen bros. Oh, and they get little, they get little headstones. We could put 256 dead people in a cemetery before we have to buy another one or build another one, which is actually kind of scary because I feel like with the number, I'm, I'm assuming that the the number of enemies in each wave increases with each subsequent wave. And we did not fare that well on the last one? That's not going to be good. The past couple days have not gone very well for us. We had to spend a lot of time kind of setting up our wood storage and, and things like that and food. And <laughs> we've got wave two coming in hot, which is not good because I don't think we have a large enough army. But we need a very large amount of food to be able to make more military bros. But I'm hoping our one catapult and uh, however many archers we have and these dudes are gonna be enough to save us from the incoming death wave. We have no more people to be able to build up any more units. So we just gotta hope. That's where we're at. Okay, first wave is in. I wanna keep launching our catapults out. There we go. I don't want to send all of our guys at once because I feel like that would be pretty bad. But I do want to get our archers in there. That catapult is so good. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, we're going to send these guys over this way. Kite them a little bit. Because if we can keep them distracted, because these units, they're not very... Oh, they're not very smart. Ooh, this is not looking good. God, there's so many, they just keep coming. Holy Jesus, we get 17 more units tomorrow. They just don't stop. Okay, we finally have stopped them. We need walls ASAP. Oh my goodness. This needs to get closer. I think we're not launching far enough. We have lost so many people today. Look at Frank, Susan, Jeffrey. Woo. Oh my God, I didn't think we we're gonna make it. Hot diggity dang. Okay, walls, priority number one tomorrow. 
is walls. No, you know what? It's priority number one right now. I don't know where the next wave is going to come from, but I'm thinking if we if we wall this up, I wish we could do walls at a diagonal. We're going to wall this up. So we click here and then we build it in through there like that. And then maybe we'll do the same thing from right here and build it like that. That's so much wood. We don't have a lot of it. And we only have two days until wave three. Oh, we are... We are about to get wrecked. Oh, well, there isn't even a wave and we have a whole bunch of people attacking from the woods right now. Oh my god, all of our archers. We cannot lose our catapult. If we lose our catapult, we die. Oh my god. Oh, and they're going right for the catapult too. No, no, no. Please. Oh my god, it's a giant orc. Is it an orc or is it just a really thick dude? Oh no, our whole store. Oh my god, we just lost all of our wood. I had like a thousand wood. Not a thousand, but I had like a hundred wood stored up in there. The Labyrinth of Pain. They weren't kidding about it. The Labyrinth of Pain is no joke. Just lost all of our wood. Oh, there is a massive amount of dudes over there. I was like, ah, oh, I'll just go in the woods and try and kill them. <laughs> no, no, you won't. I think I lured some of them out, but this dude with the big club, he's just out here clubbing my guys like baby seals. Okay, we killed the big guy. Okay, we're doing, oh. That was interesting. Let's see if we can lure a couple more of them out. We'll get our archers over there. We'll get our catapults. Maybe we can let them heal a little bit. Just have a couple. Just kind of... Oh, there is so many. Oh, my God. Let's learn about these dark knights. I think I need them just to help out and kill all these guys. Hopefully those Dark Knights actually do a lot of good damage. I'm assuming we'll be able to get more of those crystals to summon more of them, because we have all this magic that I completely forgot about. Oh yeah, they're helping out quite a bit. <laughs> I love when the catapults hit. Oh, it's so good. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Oh my god, while that was happening... They came in and killed all of my villagers from behind and started attacking the town hall. This game is oppressive. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at all my poor dead villagers. Oh man, because of all the dead villagers, all of our villagers are now sick and moving substantially slower. Day 10 is here. We've got another wave coming on day 16. And I'm trying to build a tower here quick to mount our catapult on here to hopefully fend them off. I've got enough to maybe make... Uh, I have one archer. And I can afford 17 swordsmen. Because most of them are probably going to die anyway. So let's just do that. Let's just do that. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yes. Our catapult's almost built. Or our tower for our catapult. Just in time. And then we've got our archers, which we can put right on the wall. Actually, I wonder if we can mount a bunch of them up there with the catapult, too. Yeah. I don't think we need to. Yeah. There we go. Can the archers hit there from here? Oh, oh my god. They're at the side of the wall that we can't. <laughs> okay. Oh. Yeah, no, our range is not great. But that catapult is probably going to save us. There are so many. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we definitely need more catapults. We need more of these defensive towers. Yeah, because they're about to bust through that like a Kool-Aid man. I don't see any enemies coming up from there. Oh god. Oh, it just doesn't end. There's so many! 
Holy Jesus. <laughs> I love how the... <laughs> oh my god, it's game over. There's no way. How? How are you supposed to defend against this many? Holy Jesus. <laughs> Our catapults are... <laughs> It's just a spray and pray at this point. There's at least a couple hundred enemies here. The only benefit that we have right now is that they're all grouped up. And they're going to get distracted by these houses and hope. Oh my God. They even have a catapult. Well, I do believe the labyrinth of pain was not the way to start playing this game. Oh, we do have our backup over here, those 17. Uh, let's get some archers made up. We'll make a 17 more archers. We might be able to recover from this. Maybe not in a meaningful way. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way. There's just so many. It's just a never-ending onslaught. Well, our catapult is down and our castle's about to die. That was incredibly difficult. We survived a whopping 16 days. 12 days. I'm sorry. I mean, it was my record. Enemies killed 891. Wow. Wow.